Hi guys! Today I'll show you how to make chocolate pudding without eggs. Usually chocolate pudding is made with eggs, but some people don't eat eggs. This is a really easy recipe that you can make with just a few ingredients. And after you eat this, you're not going to go back to a boxed pudding because this tastes so much better. We'll need three cups of whole milk, a half a cup of white sugar, half a cup of cocoa powder, three tablespoons of cornstarch, which is the thickener for the pudding, it's our egg substitute, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, one tablespoon of semi-sweet chocolate chips, and a pinch of salt. Get a heavy bottom pot and pour the half cup of sugar in. Now we don't want any lumps in the pudding, so sift the half a cup of cocoa powder into a bowl and press with a spoon to get everything down. Sift the three tablespoons of cornstarch. Put this lump-free mixture into the pot with the sugar. Add the tablespoon of chocolate chips, pinch of salt, pour in the three cups of milk. Turn the heat on medium-low and mix to combine. Just keep mixing. In a few minutes, you'll see steam rising from the milk. Now it'll start to thicken, so mix constantly. You'll feel it thickening, and you can see it. Get the sides of the pot too. Go around it. It should take under five minutes at this point. You can see the whisk marks in the pudding, and it stays there. That's the sign that the pudding is thickened and it's ready. Now turn off the heat, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract, add one teaspoon of butter, mix this. And now it's ready. Pour the mixture into a bowl. If you don't want a skin to form on top of the pudding while it cools, get some plastic wrap and press it directly onto the pudding all around. Poke a few holes for the steam to escape. Let this cool down and then put it in the refrigerator for a few hours to chill nicely. Here is our cold chocolate pudding. It's the perfect pudding consistency. It's not a big thick glob. It's smooth and feels amazing on your tongue. Spoon the pudding into individual serving bowls. Swirl it with a spoon so it has a classic pudding look to it. This made from scratch pudding is rich, creamy, and smooth. It has absolutely no lumps in it. And it has the right amount of chocolate in it. Some puddings are really rich because it has way too much chocolate and you can only eat a teaspoon or two. And you definitely want to eat more than that. And other puddings have very little chocolate flavor. But with this pudding, it has the right amount of chocolate and you can have a decent sized serving of it. I really hope you try this recipe and let me know what you think in the comments below. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.